Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to today's video. I am so very excited today because I'm gonna be reviewing and doing my first impression review on new release foundation from Brina Beauty. I have never experienced or never tried any other products from Brina Beauty except for their eye makeup brushes which I use until now. Yeah, they work so good and I really love it. So now it's time to talk about their new release foundation. It's called Healthy Glow Serum Infused Liquid Foundation and concealer. Interestingly, this foundation came out with two different sizes of packaging which is full size of course and the other one is travel size. It has 5 ml amount inside. I think this is such a great idea in which they came up with travel size of packaging. They actually encourage more people to buy it and yes with affordable price as well. So I bought this foundation with travel size packaging and this is how the packaging looks like. I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys and actually I never thought that they would come up with the kind of box like this. This is so beautiful and cute. So let me show you guys how it looks like and it actually have every single important information that we want to know about this foundation. So when it claims that this foundation works as concealer as well, I do really expect that it has kind of full coverage and the best thing is it has SPF 30. Here it states that it is medium to buildable full cover semi matte finish. Yeah, I really do love the foundation that has semi matte finish. It just make my skin looks glowy like healthy glow finish on my skin. Just like the title of this foundation, it is healthy glow foundation. Here is the list of ingredients that they have. Yeah, we can just read through from this box. They have five different shades available for this foundation and I'm sure every Asian skin types or skin colors can suit with this foundation. Let me read some information about this foundation in the box. Your perfect everyday skin loving liquid foundation and concealer. It is an oil free, lightweight, semi matte, buildable medium to full coverage finish with SPF 30 protection. Apply a second layer as a concealer and set it with a setting powder for a full matte finish. Serum infused formula that provides protection hydration and glowing luminous skin finish all day long. Another thing that makes me excited about this foundation is that it has dual applicator but I don't think they have that dual applicator in this travel size packaging but that's okay. After all, I just want to see how good the quality of this foundation. So let's do a demo for this foundation. I'm gonna apply it on my face and I'm gonna be doing first impression review on this foundation and if I have more time, I will do a wear test of this foundation. So let's just see how it goes on with my skin. Now that I have my face on with serum and day cream, so you can see that my face is kind of brightened. So this is how it looks like. It's so cute, like super duper cute. So easy to bring anywhere we want. And yeah, I love the idea of this. And clearly it states the shade that I have here is in the shade 2.0 light custard. Yeah, I'm so excited to try out this. Let's do a demo now. Get the products out at the back of my hand. This is my first time doing it so yeah I just need to be patient and wait till the product come up. My god it takes a long time to do it. So this travel size doesn't have the dual applicator and I can show you guys in this video so that's how it looks like inside. Okay there's no dual applicator for this travel size but that's okay. It's okay I guess I just open up. Yeah, whatever. Or maybe the amount is too little. So that's why it's pretty hard to do it. Or maybe this thing is too short and makes the products doesn't want to come out. So yeah, let's just take it out. How I want to take out this? Like seriously? I guess I'm just gonna take it out with my brush. So I don't know how much palm is this. Is it like one palm or one and a half palm? But never mind. Let's just do a demo on my face right now. So I'm gonna be applying to all over my face and starting from this side as usual so I'm not gonna waste any of the product so this foundation has yellow undertone I really do hope that it suits me well all right let's see together and if you notice before I apply this foundation, I have the scar. That's not too dark here. Let's just do this blending application and see how it looks like. I didn't apply any concealer beforehand. So let's see how well it cover my skin. I really expect this to have full coverage so I use this kind of buffing brush. Alright, so that's how it looks. It looks super healthy and glowy. 
it still looked like my own skin color. Actually, it's pretty hard for me to choose whether to pick the code 1.0 or 2.0. Both are in light shades but they have different code because I don't really like the foundation that will turn out to be so light on my skin. You know what I mean? So this is kind of like perfect for my skin but you can see the yellow tone coming through. Let's just complete this application. I have scars here and see how it covers. I'll probably top with another layer on this part and see how it looks like. This feels so lightweight and it doesn't have any fragrance smell. I think it looks perfect on me. It's not too yellow. I think this is better rather than look kind of pinkish. Okay, I'm gonna top with another layer on this part. Probably on this part only because the rest look good. I'll try to work out with this palm application and I will update in the comment section below. So let's just focus on this foundation, texture and quality. A little bit on my under eyes as well. It's pretty good actually, it's so lightweight. Okay now let's see how it covers my scar around here. Alright, so that's basically how it looks on this side. As you can see that my scars here is kind of peeking through. People can still see that I have scars here. So I don't think this works best as concealer, especially if we have dark scars, just like this part that I have. But overall, I think it's good enough. As you can see that I have minor scars here, which is slowly gone, slowly diminished. And yeah, it covers pretty well. You get what I mean, right? It works best for concealing your scars, but if your scars, texture or colors are too dark, it won't work well. Okay, that's what I mean. Wow, I'm just go. But I'm pretty happy on how it turns out, how it blends on my skin so easy. And it has that healthy glow finish. Let's see if it's oxidized or not in a few hours. I'll try to do it in a few hours, like two hours maybe. Now I'm gonna set this with my loose powder. It has color correcting function too because I have a redness around here and it's kind of blurring up. Now let's just blend this out. Now that I have loose powder on my face, so it's time for me to do a full makeup and I'll be right back with you guys. It is now 12.38 in the afternoon, so I'll check back in one hour or more than one hour let's just see hey guys so now it is 1 52 in the afternoon it's been one hour and few minutes i'm wearing this foundation and all i can say is that i'm so happy with this texture it's so lightweight it has kind of dewy finish semi matte finish just like it says from their packaging from their instagram just like what they claims it to be and honestly from what I've seen here, it does not creasing at all. My smile lines here tends to look creasing with any foundation that I put on. I mean like even the slightest crease, I still can see that. But this one, I don't see any lines. Like where are my lines? I don't see it. Seriously. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see. There's no lines peeking through. That is so great because it's hardly to be seen in any foundation that I've tried before. Or maybe the way I prep my skin, the way I prime my skin, the products that I used before I apply this foundation does help it to be not to crease or making it less creasing. I don't know. Yeah, this is the result that I get from one hour and a few minutes of application. Like it or not, I do really like this foundation. It works so great on my skin. And I also did a makeup flashback test. And what can I say is that there is no white cast appearing through the photo that I took using my iPhone. But I can see there's a little bit of yellow tone peeking through my skin. So you can see the comparison between 
flash and without flash using my phone I don't know how to comment about this because I'm wearing scarf maybe on free hair people it will look obvious and we can see the comparison between face and neck or body yeah I don't really mind if it has a little bit of white cast as long as it's not too white on my face maybe because this foundation has yellow undertone on it so that yellow tone looks kind of obvious from this photo that I took this is so perfect for your everyday look honestly because it's so lightweight it's so easy to use so easy to blend I wish I could do a wear test in a few hours more but I don't really have time now I did and I successfully using it in one hour and few minutes so I think that's quite enough for me if I do a wear test for long hours I will update in my Instagram so do follow my Instagram if you want to know more and from this part you can see clearly that it does not conceal my scar it's not totally concealed for me it just works best on a very minor scars as you can see here it works best because I have like minor scars here but this part it doesn't work good because yeah it's quite dark okay honestly it looks quite dark the reason why I didn't conceal my imperfections here because yeah I want you guys to know that this foundation has that medium to full coverage but it works best on minor scars only so if you guys the one that really loves semi matte finish or foundation you guys should try this one plus it has small size travel size so it's hard to say no for trying this one from my observation here the shades that they provided are more to yellow undertone but they have huge range of skin tones here and surely it will fit with Asian skin colors since we Malaysian are more to yellow undertone not pink undertone so probably they come up with something like this I guess this review is quite in-depth and I really do hope that you guys satisfied with all my reviews for this foundation so good job Brenna Beauty for producing this amazing foundation I really do love it so if you guys really do love this review please give me a thumbs up do share this video as well and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe I did lots of makeup reviews makeup tutorials and lip swatches if you guys want to see more of informative content like this please do comment down below what kind of products that you want me to review next so yeah I just hope that everyone stay safe take good care of yourself and I'll see you soon in the next video bye